हरे कृष्णा नेवर मेक इिवर्सिबल डिसीजन बेस्ड ऑन रिवर्सिबल इमोशन्स आवर इमोशन्स आर फिकल समटाइम्स वी मे फील मैडली इन लव विथ सम वन एंड समटाइम्स वी मे फील मैड एट द सेम पर्सन समटाइम्स मे फील दैट आई कॉन्ट लिव विदाउट दिस पर्सन एंड समटाइम लेटर मे फील आई कॉन्ट लिव विद दिस पर्सन and our emotions tend to be so reversible not just changeable but reversible change means say a vehicle is going this way it starts going this way but reversible means the emotions are going this way and then they turn take a u turn and they go in the opposite direction so we ourselves see how ambivalent and how uh, unsteady fickle our emotions are so when we observe self observe ourselves and understand the fickleness of our emotions we realize that we cannot make such emotions the basis of major decisions especially irreversible decisions if we do that we will ruin ourselves we may something which is just not working which is working wonderfully but just come across a temporary hitch we will break it apart because of that problem uh, so sometimes people break relationships because they just run into a temporary hitch so arjun faced a temporary hitch in his life's trajectory on the kurukshetra battlefield when he felt that how can i fight this war against my own relatives and he put aside his bow saying i cannot fight the emotion of grief of lamentation of confusion overwhelmed him so much that he put aside his bow that is uh, this, is, this is described In one point forty six, eva muktwa arjuna sankhe patopasta upavishad visrujya sasharam chapam shoka samvigna manasaha. So in this way, in the, that means the previous, the preceding verse of the chapter described Arjuna's uh, emotions, and based on that, it said that visrujya sasharam chapam he put aside his bow and arrow. Rathopastopavishad, a warrior who is meant to fight, sat down on the on the chariot. That means he was expressed both by putting aside his bow and by sitting down. He expresses a reluctance to fight. It's like on a cricket field, a batsman put aside puts aside the bat and sits down instead of standing ready to fight. That means he's not ready to fight. And he took this decision, but he did not walk away from the war field. He did not. If he had walked away from the war field, that would have been an irreversible decision. But he, was, although he was overwhelmed and those emotions at that time were so strong that he could not just continue, but he consulted Krishna uh, to help him better process the emotions. We see that in seventh chapter, second chapter, seventh verse, he surrendered to Krishna. Prachami tam dharma sammur cheta. I ask you, O Krishna, what is dharma? Please guide me. And thus, he was able to. Move forwards in life. Can Krishna remove the illusion that had caused his emotions to get misled? And thus, Arjuna's determination was restored by the end of the Gita when he became ready to fight determinedly. So similarly, for us, knowing that our emotions can be reversible, just impelled by them, we can we should never take irreversible decisions. If we feel strongly about something, wait for some time. Maybe write it down. And observe it after the emotional temperature has calmed down, and if it's a major decision, observe observe oneself for several months, and then in a calmly deliberated way take a decision. When we do, we take decisions in that way. We will march forward positively, auspiciously in our life. And uh, if sometimes uh, the emotion is persistent, we may take a decision which takes into account that emotion, but it won't be impelled by that emotion alone. It will be. it will be decided based on the emotion coupled with sound reason and thus we can take more responsible decisions thank you re krishna